Hello, is Rimman here? We often create spreading circular wave like this by flowing material through a dish-shaped mesh. Let's identify and address the issue that arise in such cases. Check the texture. It is a sample gradient in the form of a line like this. Refilling this texture should never cause any issue, right? Without any texture issues and with no problems with the mesh even mapping. However, there are instances where texture cropping issues occur. In such cases, please check this aspect. When the sample source option in the texture sampler is set to clamp, you may notice texture cropping issues. This issue can be hard to spot, especially when reading it from a distance. However, if you look closely, you can spot the clipping areas. When you come across this kind of issue, the typical cause of action is to to check if the texture is fine and if the UV mapping is done properly. Or check if you provided tiling value in text coordinate as floating numbers rather than integers. And by checking these three things, you can clearly identify the problem. If you verify these three aspects and the coughing issue continues to occur, the last thing to consider is the sample source. You need to choose the sample source as form texture asset to ensure it adapts the setting using the texture's default configuration. Using the breakout two component. Configuring separate nodes for refitting or non refitting textures for each axis, X and Y, doesn't cause any issue. Here, we can figure the Y axis, which is the vertical axis, not to repeat, ensuring it appears only once. I've configured the X axis to repeat, making it easier to control just one axis in this way. In this setup, to resolve the issue cleanly, you should set the sample source to from texture asset. When texture cropping issues occur, you just need to check these three things texture, mesh UV, and text coordinate tiling value. If the issues persist, you can then check the sampler source.